I'm not unsure when Edward first got here because it's obviously a a new uh, O line coach, not just for the new or early enrollees, but like for the whole O line. So we were all kind of anxious, like the first few days of like being able to get around him and watch him film and stuff. So, uh, but he, he's a really great coach, and I'm I'm really happy he's who ended up coming here, and he's really um, he's kind of like my favorite uh, coaching style, where like you know if you mess up, he's you know, he's on you. But then like the next day, it's like nothing even happened. So uh, it's been a real blessing to have him around the O-line group, and I, I know everyone feels the same way. Larry? Jagger, is there anybody in particular player-wise that's been a big help to you so far? Um, I would say for sure Luke Fortner has helped me a lot. All the O-line guys have been really helpful and really welcoming of uh, me and David coming in early. But uh, Luke's helped me a lot um, learning um, kind of how the things that like switch from high school to college um, not just with football, but with academics and, uh, you know, telling me the best way to do things so I don't make the mistakes he made and all that. Nick Roush? What is the difference from a scheme perspective uh, blocking in college versus in, in, in high school? Um, I mean, so my high school ran the old Kentucky offense, so it's like just a lot of just run it down your throat. Now it's like there's wrinkles to things. Like you, you run something to run something else. You set, you're setting up something um, for later in the game, or um, you know you're trying to get them to bite on something to see if we can run a certain route um, the next drive. So it's it's different just because you need to understand more what's going on everywhere, so you can understand like like certain plays you got to know where the quarterback is at O line, so you know which way you need to protect more stuff like that. I never really had to worry about in high school just because. Um, you know, you can just – it gets to a point where, like, if you're big enough, you can just manhandle other kids and not really have to worry about anything. You just kind of run up the field and throw people out of the way. So, Challenging is that when you're stepping into a meeting room and you, the other guys are learning the same thing that you're learning, you can't really lean on to them to ask questions or anything like that. Um, I don't think it's as challenging as, as uh, some people would think. I think my football IQ is pretty – pretty good um so just kind of understanding uh concepts more of like not even paying attention to the name but understanding what the the play is like if it's tight zone wide zone what kind of pass uh, concept it is stuff like that and coach cohen does a really good job with that and so does coach wolford of just explaining it from more of like a technical standpoint of just like almost like how madden plays their name basically are you starting at right tackle cool. is that your uh no, uh, no sir where, where are you starting at I'm uh, left guard and right guard. Okay. Jagger, along the lines of just learning things and learning things new, how beneficial is spring ball and you deciding to come and roll early? How beneficial is that to you? Uh, I'm sure it'll be extremely beneficial. I can already tell so far just already being able to, like, start from square one with all the other alignment really has been nice because we all kind of learn together and uh, – go through the same questions that we can ask. So um, it's been really nice. And I'm sure spring ball will only excel that process of understanding the playbook and uh, kind of understanding the difference from high school to college. Josh Moore. In the past, Jagger, you've talked some about, you know, wanting to play right away and contribute right away and be a guy who makes an impact, you know, yeah, that, you know right away. How, how realistic do you think that is, you know, kind of being in it now and, and getting to work out a bit? And, and just, just how realistic do you think that is for you to be able to achieve that? Um, I, I would – it's hard to say. Um, I, from the from the stage we're in right now, um, you know, I feel like I'm doing pretty well. And uh, the coaches have told me I've been doing really well. So um, I just kind of got to feel it out through spring ball. And if I don't end up getting to, that's perfectly fine. I'll just wait my turn and sit behind the guys and – um, learn from from those guys who have a lot of experience like Luke and uh, Kennard and all those guys in Horsey. So um, I'm excited either way, whichever way it happens. Larry? Just wondering, Jagger, you, you mentioned Darren. What have you been able to learn just by kind of just watching him in the off season a couple of months you've been here now? What have you learned? Um, I would say the biggest thing I've, I've took from Kennard is just how important it is at whatever level to have, like that football IQ is, is one of the most important things. And I've even learned that from Coach Wolford of, of just guys that he's talked about that weren't necessarily 
crazy physical like beasts like a lot of people in the NFL are, but they were just so smart that they got kept around because they knew what they were doing and they could play faster than other people because they knew what they were doing. And Kennard is has the physical ability and the the football IQ to do both of those things. Okay, anything else for Jagger? Okay, Curtis Birch. Thank you, Jagger. I think we're going to talk to David, and he's your roommate next. Any any good questions we should we should ask him about? Um, ask him about Rocket League. <laughs> it's a it's a game on Xbox, <laughs> and the hair. But it's a game on Xbox where you uh, it's like car soccer, and he plays it all the time. Jagger, I was also, uh, Coach Dukes was talking yesterday, and it's kind of weird for you guys with having the, all the COVID vaccinations and tests normally where you guys would park <laughs> to walk into practice. I know you've been around that facility a lot growing up in this, this, part, uh, this part of town. Like, from your perspective, being from here and all the good work that's happening there, how much pride does that give you to be a part of the, the university as a whole to see that happening? Uh, a lot. Um, I listened to Coach Stoops talk about that too, and it kind of like hit home for me just because I kind of felt the same way he did about it. But, um, you know, being able to football to be able to like tie themselves into, you know, getting rid of this horrible thing that's killed a ton of people and help vaccinate um, Kentuckians from, from everywhere who, who drive down here to get vaccinated is that's a lot of pride. I think everyone on the team from Kentucky or not takes a lot of pride in being able to kind of be like the home base for this vaccination to hopefully get this thing over with so we can have Kroger Field full um, come fall. Josh Moore. Uh, David, uh, I kind of want to ask about him too. Just uh, what, what kind of player is he? And how much did, I assume you guys got to know each other quite a bit through the recruiting process and stuff. We don't, I don't, I've never spoken with him, so I don't know much about him. Um, he's, he's, a, he's, he's a little more like, he's more of a power guy than I am, I think. Um, I'm kind of more like speed and, and that, and he's more just like, you know, pick you up and throw you down basically, um, which I have a little bit too. But, uh, yeah, he's, he's a really funny dude, and, um, you know, he, he helps me get through some of those hard days with like the workouts and stuff, just like cracking a little joke here and there, making it a little easier to get through stuff. But, yeah, you guys will like him a lot. Larry? Jagger, just wondering, you played against Bo Allen or, or been around Bo Allen some. I'm wondering also if you've seen, if you saw Juan Dale play any in high school and what it's like to have to be on a team with those two guys. Uh, yeah, I, I played against Bo and I saw Juan Dale play. Whenever my brother was at, um, he was at LCA, they played Western Hills in a scrimmage every year. So I watched Juan Dale play growing up, like when he was younger and then watched him kind of progress through um, – you know how he kind of progressed through football, so um, it's really it's really kind of weird to be able to play with those guys, especially Wandell, because he was one of those guys that living in Kentucky you heard a lot about when you were growing up, and now we're on the same football team playing for you know our home state. And then obviously Bo, me and him have played together since we were like four or five. He was always my quarterback, but I used to play running back for him. So um, to be back together with him is uh, really special too, and, and I'm excited to actually get on the field with those guys come uh, Tuesday. Anyone else for Jagger? Okay, thanks. We have David Wollabaugh here, and we'll get you in.